Oh shit! Just keep kicking it, it'll open eventually. <clears throat> I really should have brought another gas mask here. I did not realize that I was going to be so, uh... So immersed in deadly toxins the whole time here. Is this the way I need to go? Or is this like a hidden area? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks like there's nothing back here. Oh. Sometimes things just kind of blend into the background. Can I purge this gas somehow? Um, okay. So electricity damages jubilators. I think if I redirect the water lane to power the grid. Redirect the modulator to power the grid? What? A big shock. Bashing open the rear panel access and extracting the activator. There might be only two, come to think of it. Hmm. To power the grid. To get in there. Right here. Great. There's the power room. How am I supposed to get across? Can I? Okay. Percy, what are you doing? I'm swimming. Yeah, Percy's definitely a special boy. Proper use for jubilators. To dispose of downers who have gone on holiday in public. Huh. To diffuse airborne joy to citizens who may have forgotten to take their pills. Huh. It was not a mechanical steed for jousting and betting. You we are becoming quite short-handed as a result of this from foolery. Since the cockpit burns up when one of the jubilators smashes another one. Really? We are almost invincible except for the electrical issue we are working on. But even a rock can be broken by another rock. It has further come to my attention that certain employees attempted to sabotage jubilators to gain advantage in illicit competitions. Perpetrators will be caught. Damage will be docked from their pay. Penelope. Kindly do not sound the tootlers indoors. It alarms the secretaries. The tootlers. <laughs> I need some grenades. <clears throat> Oop. Hold it down. Okay. I don't know what that does. Honestly, what do you do? You don't do shit yet, I guess. I'm not getting past those jeans without getting punched like an egg. Okay, so I need to get inside the jubilator as it passes by. Gotcha. Or can I crouch? Axe. What? I didn't turn them off the first time I turned it. Okay, that's why. I turned back on after a short time. Gotcha. Pardon me for being a dum dum, okay? Okay, that's one. Two more, I think. I 
I when you open something and there's nothing inside of it. Maybe I should just stop opening file cabinets. I mean, there's never anything good in them, right? Will, will something bad happen if I go in there? I think it will. So let's not go in that way. Okay. So if I go back through here, can I flip the switch now? I think if I redirect the motoline to power the grid. How do I redirect the motoline? Is such a thing even possible? Is that not why I went back here? There's that flow pipe. There's another pipe anywhere that I'm missing? There's like a cranky crank on it? Right fucking there. God damn it. <sighs> we good now? I think if I redirect the motor lane to power the grid. Okay. You're clearly. Motherfuck, really? Really hiding this shit, huh? Always gotta be rules of three, right? There we go. Shock grenade. Excellent. Two. One more. Is that under this one? It is. Okay. Well, you just stay back there. Jubilator speed testing and communication headquarters. I sort of think this place is about to explode. Oh yeah, that's a lot more uh, red lights, isn't it? <clears throat> I maybe should not be messing with things, huh? Fuck. I wanted to pick that up. Workbench upgrade. Cool. Mm -hmm. Go the other way first, then. I need the to turn on this yep, okay, that's the exit. Gotcha. What are you really doing down there? Shouldn't it be just, like chasing me or something? I don't know. Anyway. Pull the lever! Hmm. Hey, my dude, you okay? I'll take a key card. Uh, do I press it again, or... Oh, do I just jump up here, and then jump up here, and then jump up here? <clears throat> How are you supposed to get up here anyway in the first place? Oh! God damn it, I'm dumb. I mean... My way work. Right, open up that bloody door now, I hope. Okay, nothing changed. Good. I was thinking when I, uh, flipped those switches, something might have triggered something, but whatever. A huge blitter! Got a bomb. This seems like a boss arena. Oh, hey! I'll just run away now. Do a quick start for me. Let's see, um, here yeah, we got this one right. <clears throat> Dear Anton, my workers seem to have received a week, better week joy. This makes them half as happy. Foggy, yes. I think we've already read something similar to this. Let's see, Jubilee Quick Start Manual, get in the cockpit. Push go. Go. Oh. That's jammed. I'm gonna be snug. So I inform you that your promotion to second shift supervisor has been denied on the account of your behavioral inf infractions. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. 
When Peter explained the situation to me, I had no choice but to make him supervisor instead. Yes, in light of your precarious position here, I would not be making buck on any Guy Fox Day jousting tournaments if I were you. P.P.S. If you persist in proclaiming your innocence, then I will suppose I don't owe you ten quid for the Grand Derby, do I? Okay. Interesting. A permanent solution. Again. Um, from Peter Thump. I don't like to be a teller of tales, but Thomas Horner is one making the books in the Jubilator races. He's always tempting us to bet, then taking our money. Other people's money, I mean. I never bet myself. I also believe he's monkeying with the Jubilator speed dials to fix the races. Many workers, not me of course, get in debt to him and we are forced to hand over their paychecks. I thought you'd want to know, since you put such trust in him. Something like this guy is just being a salty motherfucker. Last bit of, of stuff that it needs right in there, huh? Look, you keep making them, I'll keep taking them. So let's see. Shock grenade, shock grenade, shock grenade. Probably under weapons, tools, maybe? Tools? I'd say tools. Maybe it's under chemistry. No. Shock grenade. I need a mechanical crafting bench, which I think. There was one over somewhere. Denunciation. Here's helper. Here's the one making the book on. Yeah. Same thing we just read. Okay. So there's just like multiple areas to find it out, I guess. Huh? Power cell. Promotion. Right that. Yep. Same thing. Overloaded the jubilator. Cause massive short circuiting. Pilot is trapped inside. Fix this. Can I eat my yogurt? <clears throat> Damn. Better get that yogurt. Oh, can I t take this one? With him? I don't know. Can I ram a jubilator into his jubilator? Is that a thing I can do? I don't know how many shock grenades I'll need, but. <clears throat> just in case. Five. Should be enough. Is there anything else that I could use here? Nope, just this shock grenade. Hey, asshole! A service panel hatch didn't. Oh, bash. Bash it, okay. There we go. Scavenge jubilator a cup thing. I think I will. Cheers, love. Hey you good? Hey you good? Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realise he was Patriotic like that? Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down there. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there, tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh, look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra. This isn't a diagram, it's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. So I came in from here, right? Well, there's stuff over there. Also, I only needed one, making those were a waste. Anyway. You can actually read this, right? Dear Penelope, <clears throat> I received your note about the last minute of joy. Mm, same thing. Out we go, then. Report to Miss Alifia. Oh, th yep, this is the door. Shut it down. Anyway, we gotta go down to the public occurrences place again. Yeah. 
Wrong way. Neo. I said Neo. Next block and then right. Jesus. Oh my god. Although it is night. Not entirely sure I can actually do anything in here. At the moment, anyway. She may not be in. Although, since it's not an area I can actually enter, it might be fine. Yeah. Terribly busy. What is it? Jebba's been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop. Oh my goodness. Why? But she was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you've still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, if you can't publish it, those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. What is an adulator? All sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. But what is an adulator? Hmm. Time to be friendly. An adulator will do you for you. Greets people for you. Has a cool <clears throat> down period between greetings. Oh, I can actually greet people with that. It's funny. What's my gas mask holding up, by the way? Half? Ah, not bad. The caltrops that I used just kind of appeared back. Like, in their boxes there. Kind of funny. We can go to his lab now. Uh, let's drop some stuff off, actually, here first, shall we? Ah, fond memories cowering from the bombs with Mum, Dad, and Percy. Okay. Let us uh, go to my inventory. And move everything over here. And get rid of the shovel. And store that there. And why do I have two gas masks that are equipped? Something's not right there. Put that way. Keep these because I might actually fucking need them here. Uh, get rid of that meat. Yes. Thank you. Hmm. Get rid of these three. Get rid of these four. Get rid of. Take this. Um. Get rid of the yams. And the scotch. I don't think we're going to find many bobbies in there. Probably just doctors. Uh, let's get rid of the bottles. The rotten food. Rotten tomato. Mushroom. <clears throat> Whatever. Same thing. I think that's all. I think everything else I want to keep at the moment. Uh, Alright. Well. Oh, the rolling pin. Yeah, I'm going to drop that and that. There we go. <laughs> Pardon me. Let's go ahead and use this. There we go. Stamina's boosted. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so let's take a nap. Sleep for a little bit until morning, you know. Okay. Eat some more rations. And some grapefruit juice. And now let's head out. Yeah. Okay. And north we go. I have so much stamina! I wish icons from the underground did not show up on the overground. 
my god, he's still here. There. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, why choke the other guy out? Well, it'd have been faster than waiting for him to go away. All right then. Should be able to get the hell in here now. Lovely day for it. It does love to be in the papers and right on it. Let's see. I told him the labs was on lockdown. Huh. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Where's locked up? I can't lock the door. Well, he made a sort of sigh. Yeah. And then some gurgling noises. It'll be better, right thanks. All right, just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. All right. Oh, I've learned right. so much from you over the years. Constable? Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of. Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown colored line. I must ask you not to stray from the path because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot. And we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? All employees, we've had a wee accident. The constables are here to help us. Please cooperate with carrying your ID at all times. They don't, as they don't know who is who. Okay. I'm not sure the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. Joy detector. I mean, it's the city employees only, right? Like, let's just pop a joy. Of course, we're gonna overdose now, so. Ugh. Yep, that happens. You can't keep taking joy. You'll forget Percy. Who's that next to him? It's not Sally, because Sally has shorter hair, right? I'm just gonna wait for this to, uh, this to fuck off. I guess we can drink and eat while we're waiting for it, huh? What's the down effect of, um, sleeping? Weakens attack, increased stamina drain. Lame. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Oh. Wow, I could have not done that whole ordeal and... Out of order, huh? Uh just looking. Okay. Suggestion box. Is tea time macaroon made him shrink? Oh. So, they, they didn't actually shrink. He, uh, they just kept saying he was, uh, shrinking. Chocolate-covered strawberry joy for Valentine's. Oof. Okay. An axe. Oh, yay. That'll come in handy here. Mind 
the closing doors, please. Ah, oh, fuck. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity. No, if no. I at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination Don't fucking decontaminate me, goddammit. Allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the brominating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to be told it's from Oh god, he's dying! Real quick, I better not account it as a kill. Okay, good. Because he ran in there himself. Live Bufo Toads? Okay, symbol model, they're a little bit cuckoo, huh? Electric Charajin, huh? Just double checking. Okay, still haven't murdered anyone. No longer need a workbench to craft basic items. Nice. I think maybe I could talk to her, but apparently not. I'm not sure if I'm taking joy pills from them here. Actually, the workers more than likely have the right joy pills, so they're not at threat of, you know, dying and shit. You alright there, dude? You fucking throwing a brick at me, dude? Wow, fuck you. Come on, up there we go. He's just gonna keep throwing bricks because he's an asshole. Ow. Rude. anymore get to the steam room go to bed point tools away from yourself hmm Let's just not worry about the fire right now, huh? Secret burn, please. You, 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 you want some? What I thought. I've always liked you, actually. Top secret. I'll take that. Insisting they didn't create new mushrooms. I guess they created mutant mushrooms. I wonder if that's what started the plague. Worker safety. Ah. Uh, you, you, you okay, dude? I don't think I'm gonna try and cross that steam. That's I I can turn it off somewhere. Not steam. That looks to be fire. Very, very deadly fire. Top secret. <clears throat> From Dr. Verla. I must protest to your comments on the executive committee the other day, the so-called plague originated from the Joy Factory. We've acknowledged that waste materials have at times been dumped into the river, obviously by accident, and that the fog rising off the river has been slightly toxic. However, to claim that we created mutant mushrooms in some sort of unscientific attempt to generate new chemicals for joy, <laughs> I cannot help chuckling even as I write it down. Regardless, I am very close to having a permanent solution to all this mess. I am developing a new treatment that will render joy obsolete. Stay tuned. Regards, Dr. V. Oh, 
Go to sleep. It's not you. It's me. Hmm. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. We'll find out. I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Yep. That steam that was, you know, on fire for some weird reason. <clears throat> oh, this is what? What happened here? Oh God! Oh, I can actually go back here. Cool. Maintenance locker. Maintenance locker. Oh, we'll pick it since it's here. Nothing. Of course, that's how it goes. Try to fucking pick something, and there's nothing in it. Actually, yeah, I take this damage from it. Why don't I just fucking say screw it and just walk through this nonsense, huh? You know where do I go from here? <clears throat> Is there like a specific window or over here, maybe? Can I press the button? Press the button! Hey, I've got so much health and like protection against stuff, it's like whatever. Let's just go. Canteen! Lockpick. Scotch. Brick. Other brick. Yeah. Maybe I could sneak past these gents without a fuss. It's not gonna work out, but that's how it's gonna attempt to go. Doctor Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then. Or resolve the situation yourself. Security office. What is this? this? is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. Oh, and then we turn around I and... I wonder what it opens. All right, close this and lock it. Thank you. I feel rather brilliant right now. What did I just do? Is there supposed to be a filing cabinet here, but there's not? Don't oh, fucking lie, I'm, I'm done. I'm not unlocking that nonsense. There's a guy there, a guy's there. So you're just going around the surface? What the fuck do you mean? Why are you freaking out, man? I guess he saw the body through the curtains, maybe. So he started freaking out about that. Whatever. <clears throat> Another guy over there. Glass bottles and all that. Knocking them out of the gas is probably not a great idea. I mean, they're probably gonna die, but I mean, that's not my problem now, is it? Jesus Christ. Oh, just so we're clear, I wasn't Jesus Christing about the fact that I went dark there for a moment, but uh, I was going back to the fact that there's a fucking lot of shit in here. Can I get up there? Probably not. <clears throat> not now, anyway. Do 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 Okay. Funny. So I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said wrong things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? I don't know, why would you? Is that a whole fucking pie? It is now. Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. 
No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Belok's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. <clears throat> Tests. We've had mixed results with our first tests of A329. The subject, Vanessa Tinkerbell, came to us presenting downer symptoms of melancholy and unpleasant memories. We were pleased that to report this is not the case. There have been side effects, however. Tinkerbell was formerly one of the village's most foremost intellectuals. Now she has difficulty with basic cognitive functions and exhibits obsessive behaviors. Example, she runs around in her cell clapping her hands and seems to believe she can fly. Recommendation for the research on A329 is required. At a minimum, it should be used only in the most severe downer cases. <clears throat> Darling, I took a peek at your A12 formula as you asked. So brittle of you to look for a permanent solution to the shortages of supplies. Your plan to jam people's emotions on happy is quite daring. However, I have some teeny tiny concerns. A12 would be a bit of a lobotomy, wouldn't it? A patient would lose his melancholy, but also many higher brain functions. Yes, yes, I'll know you'll say that I sound like Harry Harworth and there's all this brain talk. But I do bear with me. You already complain this town is too full of blithering idiots. Do you really want to reduce everyone's to intelligence for gerbil? Just a thought, Miss Boyle. Yeah, I don't know, man. <clears throat> New Strawberry Joy. Yeah. Uh, this is mine now. The winning argument. It's like a double-ended pipe. I'm gonna take it just for the sort of... Just for the sake of having it, but... I'm not gonna use it. Okay. Jesus Christ, look at that. The winning argument. <clears throat> anyway, we have another one of these. Research. To General Bing from Harry Highworth. General, I must inform you that despite the initial success of our joy program, our supplies of necessary ingredients will run out. Well, not silly soon, but sooner or later. At least unless the political situation changes and we can once again import them. May I suggest that we begin a secondary line of research? I've read some intriguing studies that suggest a true source of happiness lies in physical manipulation of the brain. Perhaps we could use a breather we've given ourselves to pursue the electronic approach. Please advise. Boop. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. D of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> Does he have a fucking flaming thing? Help, that didn't work, that didn't work! He's got a gas mask. Didn't mean to throw that again. This one now. Oh, ah! It didn't work! And he is angry every day. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry every day. Um Let's try this. Uh, not that one. Uh, not that one. 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 This one. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath 
poured into the cup of his anger. Ah, fucker. Ye shall not deceive me with empty words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sun to disappear. Okay, asshole, listen here. Where's my first aid kit? The Lord judgeth thee. Color, please, there we go. He is angry every day. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Jesus Christ, dude. Where does this weapon go? Because that was like a flaming torch of God, man. Holy shit. I'm going to just take this gas mask. Probably can't find it though, can I? Go ahead and just jab that in there. Okay. Perfect. These were lead pipes around just in case I needed uh, something else to bash his head in with, you know. Okay. That about does that. What are the security systems for? Were those doing something? Oh, they were probably spraying out poisonous or something gas at me and I was just like, nah, not gonna affect me because I'm not caring at the moment. Is there anything around here that I could use or need, like hidden secrets or anything such as that? Doesn't look like it. All right. It's time for a paddling. I ask for a full battery of tests done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the new mountain? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. I'll do a better job than you people. Oh, oh just relax. Don't question it. So when he said no one knows that, does he mean no one knows that it's poisonous? Screw it. You want some too? Your joy. Just lie down. Oh, I can actually hide in there. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 oh, could I have hacked that? I don't think I could have. Never mind. Art. Phrenology. Was that supposed to be ironic? Murderer, pickpocket, lady novelist, imbecile, <laughs> lady novelist. Why do they have two lady novelists? Hmm. Is that an original? An original what? Is that? Nah. I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> You know, half your workers are unconscious. The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction, so it is non-explosive. 
Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out. You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so that people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you have to use it till I take my hand off this button. Well. Okay. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Why does he hide his Should enjoy request. Uh, yeah, I've seen that one before. I wonder if he has a secret lair. It's just the sort who would. Hello. I'm in a haunted house, maybe. Hmm. Chemical answer. Tables, search the filing cabinets, just turn everything over. Let's go. First time we've seen a white Bobby, isn't it? By the way. My like, goddamn. Uh, let's see. Mm, okay. It is, as you know, our citizens have become. Uh, dispirited due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be of use in restoring morale. <clears throat> On experimenting the examining the German camp, I discovered that German foreign soldiers were given fatigue pills that contained an, uh, antipathetamines and opioids, which greatly contributed to their spirit de corpus. It also turns out that their men were able to punch through our lines again and again, wondering how it was that they never seemed to sleep. I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you have the hero we need right now. I'm aware this will inconvenience your research, but it is great that the Polyan fighter said, England expects that every man will do his duty. Okay. Oh, look. Sally. Chemistry questions. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know? She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Did he say she's your age, you know? Or did he actually say you're all... She's all right, you know. Doctor Verloc seems to be quite the collector. <clears throat> Where's the fucking cod liver oil? What the hell? Got a lot of shit here. The king of X. The king of X. The king of X. Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> Huh, okay. How about you? Oh! Yeah, that was not good. I'm sorry I pressed that button, dude. Harry Hayworth? <clears throat> what? Is 
This is Harry Plantingent. This is Harry Hayworth. Isn't this the founder? What the fuck? That's not good. This is Gemma. They put her in here? Gemma. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Sally's lab, huh? Electroshocker, or a spike, pie, new joy flavors. So, did Gamma break out of here before we saw her get taken, or after we saw her get taken? I'm curious. Anyway, we have a couple things to read here. Chemistry questions. Um, let's see. Thank you so much for showing me your laboratory when I visited with Dr. Adams. As you can imagine, I was very excited of getting a girl from a small chemist shop. I myself have been trained to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wondered if I might come by your laboratory sometime to ask you about more advanced chemistry questions. It was such a privilege to learn from a real advanced scientist. Dr. Hayworth, I hope you do not think of me a mere research chemist. It's out of line in contacting you, but I am frankly concerned about Dr. Hayworth. Despite Joy's great success, he's been allocating resources towards his study of phrenology, a laughable, discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else when he thinks no one can hear him. I am not suggesting he's actually sabotaged the facility. The recent shortages are the results of mix-ups that anyone could have made. But I know you share my concern about the importance of Wellington Wells. And he won't listen to me or anyone else. What do you recommend we do with him? So they put him down here to test on him, I guess, huh? Anton, I must be the most smashing idea. You've been so cross about running out of chemicals, but the witches, yes, and I feel about them. Uh, use a kind of toad slime that turns out to be a hallucinogen. It makes me think. We could use new flavors of joy using local goodies like toad poppies and magical shrooms. Very excited to chat again. Sally. P.S. Found a great war recipe of Sherlock tea made from St. John's wort, which grows like weed in the Garden District. Actually, I think it is a weed. Huh. Interesting. Well, pop that open. New secretary recommendations. Seriously, I'm just expecting Gemma to, like, fucking charge at me out of nowhere or something. New secretary recommendations. To the new secretary, I hope you have better success in your job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of certain women be expunged from the laboratory. If you ask me, she who must not be named has the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will ask you for information on her notes. But you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else she'll be sacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room with the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck. Information that's in her notes, but you can't give him her notes. Okay. Dr. V also gets his knickers in and out of you, nips some of his good scotch. But a word to the wise. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Yep, we're gonna die, Arthur. What's with people having whole pie on their desk? Weird, right? Cheering. Why is there cheering? It's jammed. I gotta go this way. Nick, take me with you. What? 
What? Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. So I got a pipe in his mouth, though. No swimming, dumb cow and moo. Um, to all employees, let's see. Yet again, after covered employees flushing a bad batch of joy down the drain. It will make the fish happy is not an acceptable excuse. Often we can restore a batch by slightly defective joy by the additional of reagents. Waste not, want not. We can restore a batch of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out? Too many, I'd assume. Um, there's just dead people in the fucking joy fluid stuff. The fuck? Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? I don't know which is a better thought. Honestly. A uh, hatch. Lovely. I've seen so many hatches in my entire life. Okay. Well, I think we're alive. Oh man. Oh boy. That's not good, is it? Good at all. Well. Was the thing? Did I get the cod liver oil? Don't remember. <clears throat> Anyhow, we'll just walk our happy asses over here. Give Sally our cod liver oil. Interesting things you smell when you barely see. Okay, before we go anywhere else, this looks like it's broken as fuck. That's broken as fuck. Okay. Now then, uh, back to the pipe. To my inventory. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Have I just been wearing like eight gas masks at a time here or something? Like, what the hell? Okay. Well, that's gone. Let's get rid of these bricks. Five of these, get rid of the banger. Oh boy, um. Get rid of the scotch. I think that's all? Yeah. That's about all. Okay. And we'll take a nice nap to get our uh, sleepy sleep over and done with. Sleep. The poor man's dinner. You know, this, um, this weapon has really lasted me quite a while, hasn't it? Nice. I like it. Then again, I haven't really been getting into too many fights, have I? Since I've been in the city. Excuse me? Excuse me? What? Can I have to crouch to get in there? Okay. Knock knock, Sally. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? 
Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? I'm sorry. Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy up there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. You shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. Don't my feelings. Do you think she really meant it? The kiss and all? What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Ever Ow. again. Good on you, Arthur. Good on you. Not getting caught up over a girl. Gotta find that Percy. He's your brother. What would I have done? Should I have turned around and said, yes, yes, come with me? Go Don, whatever you say. I always have to wonder if I had to run out the door after her that day. What would have happened to us? Would we still be friends? Or was the magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? Sixteen-year-old me would have never had the ch courage to leave home. And here I am running out the door when she wants to come with. Not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Is it just another convenient lie? Because I needed a reason to go off Joy. And was he the only one I could come up with? What if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me, and love me, and need me? Do I honestly have no faith left in anyone? And she'd survive, and I'd get killed. A girl like her shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees. You're truly shark bait. I can't. I just can't. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. You're allowed to cross in the parade district. <laughs> Fancy. Nothing. There's only two more things I haven't taken. It's the, uh, this one and this one. I think we'll save it for the 15 one. Because I don't really want to cause bleeding unless I have to, you know. Alright, down that way. Well, I guess we can go ahead and just, uh, jog on down here. You know. But, uh, actually, you know what? Go ahead and end things for now. I'll, uh... One of these days, I really ought to explore those caves. I'll head into the, uh, the parade district here. Well, actually, I'll head down this way. And next time, we'll pick up as we actually cross into the bridge and figure out how we have to repair the bridge or what we have to go through to actually see the next area, as always. So, until next time, everyone. I'll catch you later. And goodbye for now.